Hi there, today we're going to practice adding hundreds with carrying. So we're going to use two different methods to practice carrying today. The carrying method and the totals below method. First we'll work on carrying and then next we'll do totals below. So with adding your hundreds, the first thing you have to do is add the ones place. Can you point on your screen to the ones place? That's right, this right here, these guys are the ones. So what's 9 plus 5? That's right, 9 plus 5 equals 14. Now, if we were to add those together here, 14, we have 1s and we have 10s. So the 1s here, the 4, that can go down here. But that 10 needs to go somewhere else. It needs to go into the 10s place. So we're going to bring that 10 right up here. So we've now added the 1s. Now we're going to add our 10s. So 7 plus 8 equals 15. But we can't forget this 10 that's up here. So that is 16 tens. 16 tens is the same as 160. So we have 100 now. We can't leave that there in the tens. So we're going to put our 6 tens we had here, our 6. We're going to add that 100 up here. Now we can add our hundreds. 4 hundreds plus 3 hundreds is 7 hundreds plus one more hundred is 8 hundreds. So the number we come up with is 864. We added our 1s first. If we found we had a 10 there, we'd regroup the 10 up there. Keep our 1 down here. Then we added our, our 10s. If we had more than 9 10s, we had to regroup it again and put it up into the 100s, which we did because we had 16 10s. So we could put our 6 here for 60, but we had to put that 100 up here and then add our 100s. Now I'm going to show you the totals below method. With the totals below method, it doesn't matter whether you add the ones first, the tens, or the hundreds. In this case, we're going to add the ones first, and you'll see why it doesn't really matter if you add the hundreds or the ones or the tens first, because you're going to combine them all. Well, we found that 9 plus 5 was 14, so we're going to put down our 14 right here. So now, now we've added the ones. Now we're going to add the tens. 7 tens plus 8 tens is 15 tens. But remember, 15 tens is really 150. If we counted up 10 15 times, we get 150. So we're going to put our 100, our 5, and our 0. 70 plus 80. 7 plus 8 tens. And now we're going to add our hundreds. 4 hundreds plus 3 hundreds. That's 7 hundreds. Now all we have to do is combine those together. 4 is in the 1's, so we just add that 4 there. 5 10's plus 1 10 is 6 10's, but that's 6 there. And then 7 hundreds plus 100 is 800, for a total of 864. So those are two ways for you to add either carrying and totals below. Okay, now I'd like you to try adding both with the carrying method and with the totals below method. Start with the carrying method. So first, add the 1's, 8 plus 3, it's 11, put down your 1, carry your 10. Now you do the next step, add the 10's. Good. You should come with 15 10's, or 150, put down your 10. Where does that 100 have to go? That's right, up to the top here. Once we've regrouped that, we add up the, the hundreds. So 4 plus 4 is 8, plus one more, 9, for a sum of 951. Nice work. Now let's try it with totals below. So I'm going to start with the ones. 8 plus 3 is 11. So I'm going to put down my 11. Put down both with the totals below. Now I have to add the tens. So 8 plus 6, but it's really 80 plus 60. So we get 140, and then I have to add the hundreds. 400 plus 400, equaling 800. Now I add those together. Ones come down, we have one. Four and one is five tens. Eight and one is nine, for a total of 951. Both match up, got it correct. Nice work. Finally, we have a word problem here. 
Eric has 237 stamps and Molly has 363 stamps. How many stamps do they have in all? Use one of your two methods to figure out the answer here. Remember we're adding, so we have the two numbers, 237 plus 363. Put them together, 363 plus 237. Use one of the two methods you've been taught today. If we add, using the carrying method, 7 plus 3 equals 10. Put down my 1. I group my 10. 6 plus 3 is 9, plus 1 more is 10 again. So we got to put our 100 up there, because 10 tens equals 100. And then add 3 hundreds plus 2 hundreds plus 100 to get the total of 600. So how many stamps do they have in all? The answer is 600. Nice work. So today we've been adding hundreds with carrying. The two methods we've been using has been regrouping and totals below. Use these strategies to help you in adding hundreds with carrying. Great job and I can't wait to talk to you about math soon.